it, it seemed everything was great, uh, but then you look at the wage growth and you say, huh, like what's going on here? Yeah, you can say, huh, because there are two blemishes. The wage growth and the fact that the unemployment rate declined because of participation rate. Having said that, Betty, this is another wow jobs report. Why? First, it occurred in the context of a relentlessly strong dollar and bad weather. That's why we outperformed the expectations of 235,000 by a lot. Second, the longer term trend is very encouraging. The 12 straight month of 200,000 plus job creation and a three month moving average of almost 290,000. Mm. So blemishes, yes, but overall a very strong report that's going to have both policy and market implications. Well, let's speak about policy, Mohammed. Does it give the Fed and Janet Yellen room to drop the word patient from their statement come March or come their March meeting? Y yes, March or the one thereafter, opening the way for a rate hike by or at the September meeting. That's what I think today's employment report does. It encourages the Fed to feel more comfortable about starting a very gradual hiking cycle by or at the September meeting. So with or without uh, a substantial wage gains then, uh, you don't see uh, the drop in oil. Uh, you don't see the lack of, of, of wage support here as any deterrence uh, to the Fed from raising rates this year. I think it will make them careful as to the path. So it's going to be a very gradual and measured path and they will stop below the historical average. But I think they want to get off zero rate. To quote Vice Chair Fisher, they are worried that the markets increasingly believe that zero is normal. Zero is not normal. Mm. So they see reasons to start moving. And I think on the issue of wage growth, it's a matter of time. It will come with these strong numbers. So it's just a matter of time.